In today's quick little tutorial, we're gonna show you how you can crop, rotate, and resize images right within WordPress. So we're logged into WordPress, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna head straight to the Media tab here on the left and go to Library. However, you can also upload a new image and click the Edit button, but we're gonna go straight to our library here and get straight into it. And we're gonna choose this first image here. We're gonna click on that image, and you can see it's been brought up, and we have the option here to edit that image. So I click the Edit Image button, and there's a few options there. Now, this is where it all is, and you can kind of see exactly how it works almost from here, but there are a few things that a lot of people uh, sort of have a bit of trouble figuring out, so I will jump onto it and show you how that works. So first of all, we've got our image here. You can see here we can rotate left, rotate right, and flip. So if I go through those options now, I'll show you how they work. I can flip horizontal. I can flip vertical. And you can see I've rotated the image around. So I'll just quickly flip that back. And you can see, once you're done and you're happy with any of those, you just hit save to move on. And the same happens with rotate right, rotate left. Those options are very explanatory, very easy, and you can even undo and redo certain things as you're going. So the main thing is where it starts to get interesting is actually resizing and cropping. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with, if I want to, I can hit crop, and I can actually just grab these handles and grab whatever portion of the image that I want and crop it that way. But if you're looking for it to fit a specific area, you come over here to image crop, so zoom in a little bit, and you can choose an aspect ratio. So if I want this to be perfectly square, I can make it one to one. And I can move it around and find it exactly to that ratio or even one to two. And it'll actually, it's not quite one to two there, but you can see here it corrects itself. And I can actually have it fit a specific aspect ratio if I want to. I'm gonna put that back to one to one and Let's say for some reason I want this image to be 800 by 800 pixels when I crop it. So I can change the selection here to 800 by 800. And that way I can select whatever area of the image I want at that exact size. So the aspect ratio gives you the opportunity to actually change the size more freely. But if I remove that aspect ratio and say I want something like 800 by 600, it gives me that exact size. It actually changes it to 802 for some reason. I'm not sure why, but we can just correct that a little bit if you want to uh, go that way. So that's how you can essentially crop. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna go with a custom size completely and we're gonna sort of crop this top area up here. And once I have that selected, I've got the crop the way I want it. I simply hit the crop button a second time. And you can see the image is now cropped and I can now save it if I want to. So now our image is, it looks like this. It's currently 748 by 628 pixels. I've decided that's a bit too big. So I'm actually gonna go back in to edit the image. And the reason I've saved and gone back, back out is because the dimensions remain with the original image size until after I've saved it for some reason. So let's say I wanna make this 500 pixels wide. So I've got 500 by 420 pixels, I click scale. I'm pretty happy with that, that looks good. I can actually edit, leave, the image has been saved, but Let's say I've made a ton of mistakes and I'm not happy with it. I can go over here to restore original image and click restore image. And that'll actually undo all the changes I've made if I decide I don't like it because it actually edits the image in the media library. So you have to actually essentially upload a new image if you wanna make multiple uh, versions of the same image. So that's essentially how that works. Uh, one thing you may notice, which is also just a handy little extra tidbit is if I go in and I'll exit this. Sometimes I'll actually get this image compression here. If you install WP Optimize, which is just a plugin in the WordPress plugin area, you can actually get these settings and change the compression as well and just compress. So just want to touch on that. It could be another handy feature for you if you're working within WordPress to make basic changes to images. Uh, so I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. If you want more like this, uh, please also consider subscribing for more videos. And of course, any questions you have, leave in the comments below and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.